Hello Newcastle fans, Stevie, welcome to some transfer rumours over the last 40 hours, what's been going on with the club, people heading in, people heading out potentially as well. We're going to start with a couple of players who potentially could be heading out uh, since uh, since the week has started. So Alex Gillard, who has just returned recently from a loan spell, a successful loan spell at Luton, he is wanted by Stuart McCall, who is manager of Bradford. Now, um, He's obviously Bradford. I've just recently had Harris Fukic as well, so uh, obviously look like to loan Newcastle players. Maybe we can strike a partnership with them. I think it'd be good for Alex Gilliard. Um, obviously, I don't think it's great that he sits in the under 23s. That's expected to complete today or tomorrow. Another one which has been going on, uh, which is Czech Tioti. Now, the story of Czech Tioti is, is Sport and Gihon, who are obviously playing in La Liga. Uh, their sporting director has flew to Belgium and France to try and break out a deal. I think it's a last hurrah that they're trying to do because they have targeted the player once before. Now, the situation with Tio is with Newcastle. He's only got six months left to run in this contract. So he will be heading out the door sooner rather than later, I do feel. They're trying to break out a free transfer. Um, I'm all for it, personally, myself, because gets them off the wage book as well and we've obviously got a couple of targets ourselves which we'll talk about in a moment so we'll have to see how that one goes but it seems to be that the wages and the signing on fee seem to be a bit of a stumbling block there so we'll have to wait and see on that one okay so here goes the transfer merry-go-round so Everton are, are, are very close to completing the deal for Morgan Schneiderlin so he's going to come in from Manchester United which now leaves two of their players one of them being James McCarthy who potentially could be either sold or worst case scenario, loaned out. I don't think you'll be loaned out though for McCarthy. I think this will be a transfer if this was to happen. Newcastle, of course, being linked with several papers. For me personally, I don't think this one is going to happen. On the other hand, a man who we've been linked to since the start of the window, Tom Cleverley, pushes him further out the door, which is a good thing for Newcastle because Newcastle need a centre midfield. I think this one is a more realistic, tar realistic target for me. A loan deal, at least until the end of the season. If he does well, look at buying him. But it's a player that, yes, I'm all for this one on loan. I will definitely go for that one as well for Tom Cleverley. Now, one rumour that we're going to squash to bed now is Ruben Loftus' cheek. Now, Ruben lost his cheek, has been linked to Newcastle since, again, similar to Tom Clevy since the window opened. But Antonio Conte has now come out and said, I do not want him to leave. He said this categorically now, it's all over the internet now, that uh, Conte said he, he's a first team player, he wants him to develop at Chelsea, he does not, not want him to leave. Now, I don't know whether Conte is actually saying, because he doesn't actually say temporary, I don't know whether Conte is actually saying, I want him just to leave temporary, I don't want to leave him permanently. So. I think that one's died off a little bit. I don't think that's going to happen now, the Ruben Loftus-Cheek. I would have liked to see him come in because he can drive going forward from midfield, which Newcastle lack massively. Second, the next one, another defensive midfielder who isn't getting much game time and he, he has admitted that he possibly may be leaving Liverpool is Lucas Leiva, who isn't getting much football under Jurgen Klopp at the moment. Very experienced, I think. I think this wouldn't be a too bad of a buy for Newcastle. Obviously, Rafa uh, knows Liverpool very, very well. He's still got family over the Wirral, you know. So he does keep a close eye on what the goings on at Liverpool. I could see this happening if Tio leaves the club because that'll leave us weak on numbers. I could see it happen, whether it will happen or not. That's another question to, to be answered for uh, Rafa. Um, Rafa has hinted on, and the, the last, well, today he's hinted on that. He'll hopefully get to sign in. Done by Brent Fad game. Hopefully we'll get one of these guys in the door. Moving on to the next target, which is uh, Tom Kearney. Fulham's Tom Kearney, former Blackburn midfielder who plays in centre midfield. Very left-footed. Got five goals this season as well. I can see why Newcastle are, are linked to him. Now, the rumours are with uh, Kearney is that Fulham won over £20 million for Kearney, which is absolutely ridiculous if that's to be true, what the newspapers are saying. Don't believe everything that you do read. I do think that a bit of... It'll have to probably be double figures to get Kearney away from Fulham. It'll be down to the player himself whether they want to move from Fulham to Newcastle, I feel, if Newcastle were to put a bit of a pressure on them. I think it'll be a good addition. I think he can get forward because, as I mentioned already in the video, we've got problems going forward from centre midfield if you take Shelby out that side. Now, who I've been an admirer all of for many a year, and I said at the start of the season, is Tomins. Tomins, I'd love to see Tomins come in. I can't see this one happening. Really can't see Derby selling to another promotion rival, especially McLaren selling to us to strengthen us. I just can't say it. Yes, he scores goals. He scores free kicks. He can play right wing. He can play left wing. He's tricky. He's former son of Paul Ince, of course. But as much as I love to have Tomins at Newcastle, it's not going to happen. And finally, another transfer rumour that won't go away is Bournemouth's Callum Wilson. 
Um, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit surprised by why we're keeping Link the strikers, considering Rafa only plays one up top, which we've got three strikers, and poor Darrell Murphy hasn't hardly had a kick in. I know he's played on the weekend and he scored, I know that. But league games, you're not going to see much of him. He probably will because of the matter of injury, for his gash and his one, but... I can't see Callum Wilson coming in and the reports are coming in that we're going to have to smash the transfer record for 20 million in the championship. I can't see it. I just can't see a second tier club, Newcastle, spending over 20 million on a striker who we don't massively need. I don't feel yes at the end of the season. I think that is more something that we'll look at. But in January, not for me. Let me know what you think of all the transfer goings on. I know there's a couple of others that are happening as well, little rumours, but these are the major ones that have been happening in the last 48 hours. Get your comments down there below. And who would you like to see come in out of these bunch as well? Any players who you'd like to see go out on loan? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.